Hey everyone, welcome back to another iLogic video. Today I want to go over this rule that I made, which basically takes a parameter that's a multi-value list and it displays all the options that the user has for that parameter. And if the user wanted to add another option, let's say they needed one inch for an option for this diameter, they would just type one and press OK. And now when we go to the parameters, we will see that for this parameter, it is now an option. Uh, let me yeah so one is now an option because we added it in as the user uh, so let's get started with creating this rule and by the way if you haven't subscribed already i post ilogic videos often so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and so that you can see when i post my next video all right so let's get started and first thing we'll have to do is uh, define a list as or yeah, create a, an, an array list so i'm just going to call it list as new array list and with this um, we're going to set this list equal to multi value dot list and for right here we will have to put in the name of the parameter and for this parameter is called uh, shaft diameter we could also check let me move some of this stuff out the way let me move myself out the way so right here I can see it's shaft diameter and you can see it's a multi-value list because if you hover over it, uh, you can see those options right there. All right, so that's the list. Now, now we want to let the user um, add another value. So we're going to define them val as the value that they're adding. It's equal to string and that's equal to input box. And so this is where that dialog box shows up where you know they could type something. So the first thing is asking us is to type a prompt. So right here, we're just going to type um, enter the um, enter the diameter you would like to add, and then for the option, uh, I mean for the title, we can give it a random title like adding val to list, and then for the default response, uh, I I'm just going to put zero, and so that is our new value. Now let's say that the user puts um, accidentally types zero, or the user um, pre presses cancel. Then we want to exit out of the, out of this rule. So if val is equal to zero, because we don't want to add a shaft diameter of zero, that's um, that shouldn't be an option. So if val is equal to zero, or um, val is nothing, then we're just going to close out of this rule and not do anything else. So then exit sub okay now if it's not um, inside so if it's inside this list already so let's say they type one inch and it's already in, inside that list we don't want to keep adding that value so what we're going to do is um, if list there's a, there's an option you press dot there's some other methods inside this array list uh, class so if you go, go down to contains and then right here it's asking us uh, to type what are we checking so if it contains val and let's say this is um okay so if it doesn't contain this so we're going to put false if it doesn't contain this value then we're going to add so list add val so basically, we're right here, we're checking to see if that value exists inside that list. And then right here, so if, it's, if it doesn't exist, then we're adding that uh, value to this list. And then we're going to finish this off by setting multi-value. Um, let's, let's spell this, multi-value.list, shaft diameter is equal to list. So if we run this rule, um, we're not going to see that uh, all the options. We'll get to, into that right now. So if you run this, um, we can add, let's say we could add 30 into that list. So if we go to parameters, 30 should be an option. And there we go. And if we uh, run this again and we type 30, it's not going to add it twice. So we go down here. Yeah, it's not there twice. Now, now let's do something extra and let's display all of the options currently available. So before we go into the input box, 
we had to put it in here because we want to display that for this section. So we're going to do a, a for, uh, for loop, which I've explained in a previous video. And I'll, I'll probably put it in the top corner for you to uh, take a look at it. So for each values, uh, for each val, actually we already have something called val down there. So I'm just going to put sval uh, as string in list. Uh, and we're going to go next. Um, what is the issue? For each value, hold on. Yeah, I totally forgot to type each right here. Each for each s val as string and list. Um, well, first we are going to uh, create a string as we're going to create a string and call it message as string. All right, let's call this. Yeah, we shouldn't call this message because I think message is actually a method. So I'm just going to put message one. And first, we're going to start off by typing v -E v -B -C -R -L -F, I think it is. And what this basically does, it um, indents, it is, it's like pressing return on your keyboard. So it's um, making a new line uh, in the message. But we're going to do that twice because I want a, a space in between. So I'm going to put VBCR, v -V -B -C -R -L -F. And right here, we're going to add to this message. So the, what this plus equal does is that it's adding to this message. So let's say the message right here was like, uh, hello. And then if we type something like message plus uh, world, what this would do right here, it would result in message is equal to hello that that's what the uh, that's what we will see um, because you're adding this onto that uh, but if you did now if you did this if you type this um no oh, actually let's say exclamation if you did this and you wanted to see the message so if you did something like message box what you will see is just exclamation mark because you didn't add this plus but if you added this plus now it would be the whole thing so that's basically what we're doing here um, when we're adding um, plus equals, so we're going to keep adding that value. So basically, it's going to uh, it's going through each value inside this list, and then it's it's adding that to this message. So now all we have to do is just um, type something like available options and put an and message one. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Oops. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. So now when we run this, we should see an, a nice message. And 30 should show up. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. I forgot to um, put, so if we run this. So we had that space, but now we don't have that space uh, in between each of those. So let me go back. And what I'm going to do is add VB. CRLF right there and run this. So now we have that indented. Now we could also do something like if you wanted to space that out a little, little bit. I mean, we could, you know, just space this out by let's say like four. And it looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, somewhat nicer. Um, yeah, so that was that rule. Um, if you like this, whoa, got an error here. Um, yeah, if you like this uh, video, make sure you like it, subscribe if you're interested in more iLogic videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you have a question, please leave it down below so that I know what videos you guys want to see or what topics you guys are struggling with. All right, talk to you guys later.